Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> the presidency is the most straining job in the world, and it's 24-7. How can you say you'll be up for that next year, in two years, in four years, given the limits you've acknowledged that you have today? The limits I've acknowledged I have? There's been reporting that you've acknowledged that you need to go to bed earlier and your evening around 8. That's not true. Look, <laughs> what I said was, instead of my every day starting at 7 and going to bed at midnight, it'd be smarter for me to pace myself a little more. And I said, for example, the 8, 7, 6 stuff, instead of starting a fundraiser at 9 o'clock, start at 8 o'clock. People get to go home by 10 o'clock. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about. And if you look at my schedule since I've, since I made that stupid mistake of, in the campaign, in the in the debate, I mean, my schedule has been full bore. I've done. Where's when? Where's Trump been? Riding around in his golf cart, filling out his scorecard before he hits the ball. I mean, look, he's done virtually nothing. And I have, I don't know how many. Don't hold me to it. Roughly 20 major events. Someone with thousands of people showing up. And so I just think it's better. I always have an, an inclination, whether I was playing sports or doing politics, just to keep going, not stop. I just got to just pace myself a little more. Pace myself. And <clears throat> the next debate, I'm not going to be traveling into 15 time zones a week before. <laughs> anyway, that, that, that's what it was about. That's what it's about. And by the way, even with that, I love my staff, but they add things. They add things all the time. At the very end, I'm catching hell from my wife for that. Anyway.